Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you an honest review of an investment app that I recently downloaded called Stake. Stake is a global brokerage app that has been growing in popularity in the last year. So I wanted to take a look for myself and show you what it's all about. Before we get into the video, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you get any value whatsoever from this video, please consider hitting that like button. So full disclosure before we get into this review, this video is indeed sponsored by Stake. Now before you think in any way this is gonna skew my opinion or review of this app, I made it very clear that I would be open and honest about my experiences and thoughts with the app, good or bad. The fact that they were happy for me to do this makes me even more confident that they really do believe in their app. So who are Stake? Stake was launched in 2017 in Australia by Dan Silver, John Abbotts, and Matthew Lebowitz. And it's owned by Stake Shop Pty Limited. Stake was started with the mission of allowing the average or aspiring investor to access the US stock market with ease and without all the added fees that you would usually have with other brokers. So since its inception, Stake has opened up its services to other countries, including New Zealand, Brazil, and here in the UK. So Stake currently has two tiers to the platform, the standard Stake account, which is their free offering, and Stake Black, which will cost you $9 per month, which is currently just under seven pounds. The standard Stake account gives you plenty of access to useful features and the free fees are still available to you. Now, Stake Black allows you to settle trades instantly rather than having to wait for the payment to settle, which is normally one to two days. And then you can reinvest that money straight away into something else if you so wish. So you will also get access to companies' full financials as well as tips from investment professionals. So that being said, you still get plenty of good information on the free account by accessing the markets tab of the app that provides you with the current best and worst performers, as well as market news and articles that you might find useful. So as you can see, the app is very clean and simple, which personally I like. Starting with the homepage that breaks down your current portfolio and how it's performing, including your buying power and any pending orders. I also like that there's a little ticker in the top left corner with a countdown to when the US stock market opens and closes. Then there is a tab that collates any stocks or ETFs that you've chosen to keep an eye on. This is handy to keep track of any potential investments that you're looking to make all in one place. Then there is the markets section where you have an all in one place to get news on the US stock markets daily. Then they have a handy search function so that you can very easily and intuitively find a company or ETF that you're looking for. And finally, a tab where you can access your account information. One thing I really do like about Stake is that they automatically generate your US tax form, which is also known as the W8 BEN or BEN form. Now this is automatically done when you fund your account, which is different to most other apps where you have to manually do it yourself. Now opening an account with Stake is very easy. The opening process is fully digital and it takes a matter of minutes to complete. Once you've deposited your minimum deposit of £50 by bank transfer, you could literally be trading in minutes. So you'll need to prove your ID and for some people this process might take a little bit longer. And it really is that simple, just download the app and follow the steps on your screen. So Stake also offer a brilliant referral scheme whereby if somebody uses your link to sign up and deposits the minimum payment within 24 hours, you will receive a free stock of either GoPro, Nike, or Dropbox. Now that's not bad considering the minimum value there is GoPro at around $8 and the max being Nike, which is at $133. So investment choices within the app include over 6,000 US stocks and ETFs. And the bit that I really like is fractional shares. Now fractional shares allow you to have exposure to big US companies like Google, Tesla, or Amazon without having to fork out a load of money to buy one share, seeing as a lot of these companies currently sitting at around 3,000 pounds per share. It is just unrealistic to expect the average person to get involved in that action. Okay, so let's take a look at the fees within the app, or in this case, more aptly, the lack of fees. As it stands, Stake don't charge any brokerage fees at all and no FX fees either, unlike pretty much all of the other investment apps. I've personally been put off investing into the US single stocks previously, as I just didn't wanna pay all the foreign exchange fees for the privilege of trading each and every time. It's important to note though that there is a 0.5% fee when you deposit your money or withdraw it from your account, but any trades in between 
you're not going to pay anything. So to put this into perspective, Stake have provided a chart on their website that you can see here that shows a fee comparison between the average Stake investor in 2020. So based on a $4,000 portfolio with four trades per month and an average of $1,200, this is how Stake performs. So the total fees for the year with Stake would be £14.40, trading two on two, £62.23, free trade, £186.69, and Hargreaves lands down a whopping total of just over £1,000. So it's clear with these numbers that if you're looking to make multiple trades within the US stock market, Stake outperforms other apps that have similar offerings. So from my perspective then, to summarize the pros and cons with the Stake app, the free offering on the app provides you a lot more than other free offerings on other apps. It's quick and easy to set up an account. And the Stake app, I think, is really attractive and very easy to navigate and understand. The cons for me within the app, though, are that all trades are conducted in US dollars. And for some, that could be a positive. And you are limited to US stocks, which in fairness is the USP. So to conclude the review then, I think that the concept and execution of Stake is actually pretty good. If you want to trade US stocks at a very low cost, then Stake is most certainly the app for you. Because they focus on the US market, there are of course markets and sectors around the world that aren't going to be included in their offering. And if you want to be globally diversified, then there's plenty of other apps that can give you access to those markets. There are, however, plenty of people that just want to invest their money into US stocks. So I hope this video was useful and you got to know the Stake app a little bit better. To sign up with Stake, follow the link in the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to get further content from me about personal finance.